this video was inspired by uh, an Uber passenger. This vi this video inspired by an Uber Uber passenger. And uh, I live in Atlanta, Atlanta, so everything be kind of far sometimes. So I was bringing this lady home, and. <laughs> Y'all have to understand, like, while I be driving for Uber, I can't lie. Like, I'm an uh, empath. And uh, for those who might not know, my definition or terminology of an empath is kind of being in the path of emotions. And I'm often in the path of my passenger's emotions. Kind of can't really uh, avoid that or turn that off. So, uh... I was like, you know, let me just speak to her. Let me say something to her and just see where we at with it. And then come to find out, she actually needed a little bit of this advice. Come to find out who don't need a little bit of this advice. Realistically, it's a very deep thing. So, uh, I still need to be driving for Uber, but I was like, mm, let's see if I could play it by ear where I could like, go live and if someone does request me i can like in the video i don't know i wish i could create like a donation link i mean i know they have donations on youtube but youtube is a weird ass network i ain't even gonna lie that's why i'm gonna create my own website to kind of do it myself have everything in-house but today's video what is uh karmic debt does anyone want to take a shot what they think uh karmic debt may be Excuse me, I'm about to go crazy. You know, I'm pulling on my beard, sitting in this car, trying not to go crazy. I'm like, hmm, hmm. Might look a little crazy. It's all right. It happens. So, uh, boom. Peace, family. Peace, peace, peace. All right, let me uh shut my other apps off. One more to go. All right. So, I have a passenger in my car, and she's talking, and she's like, you know, I love everything that you're talking about right now. She was like, you know, because we just, we just went through this retrograde, and it was so hard on us. It's like, we dealt with all this karmic debt. And I was like, do you know what karmic karmic debt is like and she was like I mean yeah you know for all the wrongs and I'm just like like hold on wrong who the f who even said there's a wrong and right but you now you don't decide your wrongs and rights you actually have motherfuckers who always is wrong and right I mean I'm sorry yeah motherfuckers who always wrong trying to tell you what's right realistically you know lord but uh this is what not well she's referring to mercury's retrograde she didn't even get into saturn's retrograde yet or maybe she don't even know she don't even know maybe she's just talking because once again the way this goddamn conscious community works once motherfucker said it's blue and then the next motherfucker said it's blue and then seven motherfuckers said it's blue then that's the consensus that is what needs to go down in the conscious community because seven motherfuckers said it was blue not even i don't even think motherfuckers i don't even think people realize who y'all listen to but i'm not going this video is not about that no q we're going to stay on cosmic debt karmic debt cosmic debt karmic debt so, I said, first off, she used the word, though. She said it. She was like, you know, we just got through this cosmic debt. And I was like, do you know what cosmic debt is? I said, if you're dealing with karma, all right, and in and, 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 and the first place, when you're dealing with anything that's a ka, like I say all the time, K-A or C-A, you're dealing with spirits. You're dealing with spirits. Sporo. Multiple spirits, spilly, spilly arts, spirits. Now, I often explain that spirits are not physical. Where the fuck is the physical spirit? Go grab it for me. Pull it. Go grab it. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait right here. 
pull the spirit forward. I'm going to just chill right here until we find the spirit. There is no physical spirit. So the spirit is kind of what you would call invisible, still exists. And then that invisibleness kind of has to place itself into something that is real, even though this is not real. But it has to place itself inside of something so then it can kind of animate, so it can then kind of uh, experience. That's what a spirit is trying to do in the first place, experience things. That's why spirits are within your chakras. That's why spirits is experiencing memories, experiencing imagination, experiencing sound, experiencing emotions, experiencing hunger, you know? identity passion all the different things that come with these chakras so these are the how your spirits is experiencing different things but anyway so if you're saying if you're saying karmic you're symbolic or, or you're addressing multiple spirits all right and that you are addressing now here i hope y'all explain it all right i got y'all let the sun let the sun hit me for a second you know, all right. Every day of the week, you're dealing with a different spirit. That's why they have different names. If not, it would be a motherfucking, <laughs> it would just be a day. It wouldn't have an identity. But your day has an identity. You ever noticed that? You ever picked that up? That your day has an identity. Why the fuck does a day have an identity? No different than you have an identity. So, if you know Monday is an identity, Tuesday is an identity, Wednesday is an identity, Thursday is an identity, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. These is all multiple identities, aka multiple motherfucking spirits. So what I'm telling you is that what you, what's today? Tuesday? So what you did yesterday, Monday, was a whole different spirit, a whole different you, a whole different construct. So if you're talking about karma, well, you're talking about that which came prior, you're not talking about fucking my car. I'm going to get karma for what I did tomorrow. No, you're talking about karma based on your past, based on the previous system. So just in your days of the week, you're getting different spirits, different times, different experiences. And you would say, OK, I'm kind of dealing with the karma of my past. Well, let's just say the karma of last week. That's six, seven different spirits. Seven different spirits, you dealing with that karma. That's how that works. Seven different spirits, seven different planets, you kind of dealing with that karma. I explained to one of my friends, I said, listen, first off, <clears throat> they focus on seven planets because they don't want you to tap, in, tap into Neptune, or Neptune, which is a whole nother concept, and then they don't even give Pluto a planet no more. Pluto ain't even a planet no more. Pluto is a goddamn dwarf star. So planet is, Pluto isn't even considered a planet. So listen, I explained that we actually secretly have eight days of the week. Now, the eight, eighth day of the week kind of comes in this little weird system with like leap years and fucking hours uh, moving forward, hours moving back. Either way, they, they, they have this eighth day. It's just hidden. People don't really see it. So this eighth day has been hidden from you, but it is in your frequency. The eight is in your frequency. Let me go eat, A, hey, AKA eight. I ate something today. Oh, I hate you. Oh, I'm great. You know, steak. Why does all these words have an eight frequency in it if the eight ain't that important? It's very important. But like I, I, I try to explain to people, you wanna know the deep science, 333 is the child, Never said masculine or feminine. 666 is the father. 999 is the mother. The only way that the father gets back to the mother is going through what you call a system of 777 and a system of 888, a.k.a. the two twins, a.k.a. the two sisters. You're kind of dealing with a sister that holds on to the seventh, the seventh frequency or system, and then you're dealing with a system or a sister that deals with the eighth frequency or system. But then you're kind of dealing with the Demiurge, now dealing with the Orishas, the Olympias, uh, Astro Light. But I, this video ain't about <laughs> what happens when you die. This video ain't about uh, how motherfuckers die so quickly, they don't even know they dead. Knocking on doors to a physical realm that is only physical based on their memories. It isn't a physical interaction. It ain't like they can interact as a ghost to the physical reality. Oh no. It's only physical based on their memories. So now I gotta ask you a deeper question. Is this only physical based on your memories? Let's not go there, Q. 
Stay focused on karmic debt. This is what you got to focus on, karmic debt. So we going back to karmic debt now. Feel me? I'm going to have my little board and everything and stay on track. <laughs> no worries. But y'all get rawness. Y'all get y'all get pure rawness oozing out of me. Y'all don't get no goddamn... Listen, I'm live. Y'all got to respect this. How many people truly really go live for y'all? They don't go live. They do pre-recorded fucking videos scared about fucking up. And never will answer nobody's goddamn question. You ain't getting that. Fuck no. I go live all the time. I'm not running from anything. Not running from nothing. And I ain't have to sit in nobody's goddamn jail forever to get my information. But I ain't gonna throw no stabs nowhere. So anyway, so when you're dealing with karma, you're dealing with cars, aka spirits. If you have you only had one car in your life? Let's ask that question. In the whole existence of you being here on this physical plane, did you only have one car? No, you've had multiple cars. You've been in multiple cars. So you have been a part of multiple experiences, spirits, in spirits, in experience. Anyway, so I told her, I said, listen, when you deal with what you call cosmic debt or karmic debt, associate the word cosmos to it. So you know that your debt ain't just earthbound. That you know that your debt your debt ain't just associated to your physical form right now at this moment. Oh no, dear ones, it's deeper than that. Oh no, great old ones, it's much bigger than that. So I helped her explain. I said if you're dealing with cosmic debt, you're dealing with the emotions, experiences of you and other planets, your emotions, your experiences on other planes when uh uh you know you know that they say that earth was moved out of its position and that's what created the asteroid belt well what the fuck did that you you did that shit you didn't blow up a whole goddamn planet of course you're gonna have some form of grief some form of anger some form of emotion Incorporated and blowing up a goddamn planet. No shit. It comes, it comes with that. It happens. But do you know what really taps you into this frequency? Here we go. So we're dealing with Mercury. Now she asked me, she was like, uh, do you believe in zodiac signs? I said, of course I believe in zodiac signs. I said, zodiac signs is your clock. I said, now this is how you have to process macro and micro. You got a big hand on the clock and a little hand on the clock. The big hand on the clock is always moving a lot quicker than the smaller hand. Might be vice versa. I don't know. You get what I'm talking about. But this is just my point. As we enter different zodiac signs, that's the bigger hand or smaller hand moving to the next digit. But you still got to cycle or go around the whole clock before you get to the next tier, to the next system. So how do you transverse the whole clock? A specific frequency is involved in you getting to your next hour. It's important for you to know. How did you get from 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock? There was something that got you there within that hour. But no, we don't pay attention. Even though they got books that tell you. I don't need to read nobody's book. But they got books that tell you which angels rule which hours. That's a little, little advice if y'all want it. If y'all want a little advice, if y'all want to know the answer to what I'm talking about, there are angels that are literally ruling every single hour. Each angel has its own hour. So anyway, <clears throat> I explained to her the whole clock thing. And I said, now you ever heard of something called counterclockwise? This is when the clock kind of spins backwards. She was like, yeah. I said, well, that's no different than a retrograde. It's our clock, our cosmic clock, like flavor, flave. It is our cosmic clock that is spinning backwards. Why do you think this black ass fucking turd is holding on to a goddamn clock? If we don't start putting this shit together. I really, I'm scared. I'm nervous. I'm not gonna lie. I'm nervous. <laughs> I get nervous. <laughs> and I'm like, y'all want me to go harder? Y'all want to give you more information if we can't even grasp the little simple shit that's here on our face right now? I tried to explain to her, I said, listen, everything's about goddamn melanin. Uh, uh, I told her the whole zombie thing, and she was like, what do you mean, like, melanin is sentient? I said, every goddamn movie, they show you this primordial liquid that's moving. Even in Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, they had the little primordial ooze or liquid in that. And you see, that's the damn war of the tribes. All right, let me just go back, because it's too much, too much information. It's 
too much. That, slow your clock back, Q. Slow your clock back. All right, so I'm rewinding my clock back. So, the reason why we started dealing with what you're called cosmic debt. And she was like, you know, yeah, like, you know, I had to, like, weather the storm. It was really hard for us. We had to conquer and tackle a whole bunch of things. And I'm like, do you even understand why you're doing that? I said, first off, something had to activate those memories. Something had to stir up those emotions. How, why are you even thinking about that? Why are those emotions even being placed on you right now in this moment? So I explained, I said, Mercury has to do with our memories. Now, first and foremost, if I'm saying memories... <laughs> I'm not talking about now. I'm talking about that which has happened. I'm not talking about thoughts. I'm not talking about actions. I'm talking about memories. That which has happened. Memories. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, shit. Because <laughs> it's so deep, man. It's so deep. All right, so... Whew. And because your memories are spinning backwards, retrograde, you're going to be dealing with memories that is outside of your physical body, a.k.a. cosmic debt. You're dealing with the emotions of the planets, not just your own personal emotions. You're dealing with, yeah, the Akashic Records. <laughs> do, you know, do you know how you access the Akashic Records? Every day, y'all access the Akashic Records. Every day. Every day. Every single day. Do y'all know how y'all access the Akashic Records every day? Every single day? Everybody on this plane goes to sleep. You ever know, you ever wonder what sleep is doing? Every time you go to sleep, you're uploading your experiences from the day into something you call the Akashic Records, a.k.a. the moon's cloud. It's like an eye cloud. It's the moon. And you're lit the moon is literally putting your ass to sleep. So literally, you're uploading all of the experiences to this uh, cosmic computer. Do you know why? Well, when you die, you see a light. <laughs> that light is being projected from the moon. And then you get all the answers. Oh, come this way. Yes, Hefe. Hefe, come this way. Nigga, they trapped too. Fuck you talking about. You listening to them telling them telling you to come to the light. Motherfucker, they're stuck too. Anything that's stuck in light is stuck. Anything encompass you don't nigga. Where are we at right now? Hold on. Time out. Y'all want to leave this light to go to some other light? How's that work? Say, y'all want to leave this matrix to go to another matrix? Y'all don't see that y'all trapped in this goddamn light? That don't that don't hit that don't hit y'all in a certain way? Make y'all motherfucking stomach sit a certain way? What the fuck? The ancients show you that their goal is to go in darkness. Q, what do you mean? The fuck you mean what I mean? Goddamn tombs? Goddamn mummy wraps, fucking darkness. They are cocooning themselves. They are allowing themselves to go through a metamorphosis. But no, uh-uh. Y'all not ready to transform. Y'all ready to transfer. So y'all hop in the reincarnation light or the uh, reincarnation or uh, uh, what's another word I can use? Um, uh. Reincarnation, no, um, reincarnated or reincarcerated, reincarcerated. There we go, reincarcerated light. That's what y'all want. Y'all want to jump into the reincarnation or re to keep your ass a prison. It's prisons is talking about light. It's a prism. It's a prison. We're talking about light, literally, literally talking about light, <laughs> literally. But nah. Y'all wanna, y'all wanna put up fucking weird ass shit. Y'all wanna wear shirts with unks on it. 
when nobody in the life right now understands the science of the unk or we will be using it. The fuck? Time out, slow down, rewind. If anyone truly was out here understanding the science of an ankh, guess what? We will be incorporating it in our culture. But they don't have the science of the ankh. I do, but they don't have the science of the ankh. So they don't have the science of the ankh. So we just want to focus on shit that look good. I'm going to put this ankh on my shirt. Let motherfuckers know I'm down. You got, you are, you're in a better shape if you put some goddamn emojis on your shirt. That will put you more, more connected to the now, to reality, to existence. Some goddamn emojis. At least the emojis apply to reality right now. Where the fuck are we using onx? Explain it to me. How does it work? What is it supposed to be used for? Boy. So... The ancients wasn't really here for the whole transferring thing. We here for the transferring thing. That's our shit. I'ma just transfer all goddamn day. Transfer, 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 transfer. Why the white people out here is transforming? I'm just being honest. Look at the jobs. White people keep their fucking jobs. Before you know it, they done transformed from the goddamn janitor to the motherfucking CEO. That's a transformation. But no, we transfer, 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 niggas, relationships, transfer, friendships, god damn, woo, it's a weird ass world, can't lie to you, it's a weird ass world, man, yeah, that's the demiurge, that's the Olympians, that's the Orishas, I know a lot of y'all like to channel and commune with the Orishas. Shit, I talk to them too, but I ain't stupid. I know what the fuck is going on. And they're here. This is your Orishas. This is your chakras. And then your crown has been removed for you from a reason, for a reason. Because in order to reach one's crown, you got to transform. What the fuck you think Aladdin's about? Once again... You're going too deep on them, Q. <laughs> You're going too deep on them. Y'all seen Aladdin? Y'all know what I'm talking about? No? <laughs> Flies over some heads? I get it. I get it. You go let goddamn... How, how everything starts small. Everything. Goddamn seeds, breath, everything starts off small. But you gonna let a mic, a macro system fucking dominate you, females. Everything starts off small. It's called a clitoris. And then you gonna let a goddamn macro system called a penis control your asses. What the fuck? And then you go take, it takes goddamn Meg the Stallion. It takes, it takes a goddamn hot girl summer for y'all to get back on y'all bag. To get back in, you know, you realizing that you actually hold some value. That you actually don't have to be ruled and controlled by this masculine energy. OMG. I'm done. It's water. It's still all water. It's been a constant stream of water. So, uh, <clears throat> the Vegas trip is still going. The deadline for the Vegas trip is August 15th. After that, different tickets are going to go on sale. That's no longer part of those tickets. They're going to be a lot cheaper and include a lot less things. But still want to allow people to have the opportunity to come. So I figured that would be the wisest thing. If y'all haven't subscribed to my YouTube, I would appreciate it. Much love. Maybe I'll get more uh, inspired to do more uh, precise videos about things. But um, y'all have to understand that we went through a time of forgiveness. That is what Mercury's retrograde in essence, was trying to manifest, to spark within you. How? See, how? listen, how are you going to have debt on yourself? What the fuck? This all starts with us. Starts with us, ends with us. So why am I going to make myself feel bad about myself? How does that work? I'm going to feel bad about me. We have been, we've been in this 2019, almost six, seven months, 
and a, a majority of the lesson in 2019 is to, to take accountability. For you to truly understand and acknowledge you in this. How important you are in this. How important your emotions play in this. How important your actions play in this. You. You become the Oedipus. You become the centerpiece. You become the goddamn third pillar. You. You. So then if you done took all that knowledge and took on that consideration, how the fuck you gonna say it's dead? Like you owe something. Who the fuck you owe? You owe yourself? Who do you owe? I don't owe no motherfucking body. I don't care if I got a car loan. Fuck you. I don't owe shit. It don't work like that. Like, I don't owe nothing. This car is a part of me. This shit gets paid for. I don't owe nobody shit. It's forgiveness. Forgiveness is what you're trying to seek right now in your life. Forgiveness of the past experiences, memories, things that you did. Forgiveness. And it's okay for you to allow forgiveness within yourself because you know where forgiveness enters it don't enter the goddamn brain the brain don't give a fuck the brain does not care the brain is not oh okay let me forgive myself for thinking that oh wait hold on let me forgive myself for not doing that your brain ain't operating like that it is your heart it is your heart it is your heart that needs this frequency of forgiveness. That needs this, this understanding and positive reinforcement. Now, I could tell y'all a story, but I don't know if y'all know ancient literature. Then they'd be like, Q, how you know ancient literature if you ain't never read ancient literature? You know how? Because the fucking ancients live in you. The ancients live in me. I talk to people all goddamn day, just like a book. So I can tell you a story. So it said that uh, there is one being that kind of beats on a cosmic drum. How interesting that this being is also encompassed into this Lucifer story. Because Lucifer was incorporated with sound, music, choirs. So uh, once again, you get this, uh, this being, this male being. I don't remember his name. And he beats on a drum. Boom, 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 boom. Like a little drummer boy. And what this drum does is it keeps everyone in sleep. It keeps the brain sleep. Let me not go to that. It keeps the gods sleep. It keeps the goddesses sleep. And it's said that if the drumming was ever to stop, that the gods would wake up. So this is your, uh, fuck is that, uh, uh, bedtime story with the, the dude, the sleeping man with the little powder and stuff. This is asso associated with that, where you have one deity that kind of puts people to sleep. You know, that's his role. That's his job. Same thing. Same concept. Same thing for, uh. Sex. Sex gets a person to sleep. Do you know why sex gets a person to sleep? The Sandman. Thank you. Do you know why sex gets the person to sleep? Because your heart beats faster. Now, I'm going to help y'all understand this concept. That story is explaining you. The little drummer boy is your heart. And it's constantly beating. And it's keeping you sleep. This is you sleep. Hello, physical reality. Hello, sleep like a motherfucker. This is you sleep. Because your brain is sleep right now. You're not up. You are sleeping. And it is your heart that's keeping this beat till you sleep. And if the heart was to stop, guess what? The god or goddess emerges, wakes up. That's explaining on a spiritual level. That's explaining you where you really exist because you don't exist here in this physical shell you're looking at right here on this camera. You go beyond here. So you actually wake up the being that is outside of you. But it's not that simple. I don't want my fuckers to think, oh, okay, as soon as my heart dies, I'm going to wake up. Oh, no, no, no. Because <laughs> y'all have to understand how most of y'all die. 
If you ever looked at the movie Ghost, you can realize that you can die so quickly <clears throat> that you get knocked out or pushed out of your body <clears throat> and you don't know you're dead. <clears throat> and then not only do you not know you're dead, you don't really grasp the new reality of you. It kind of takes the living to help you understand who you are. So you then have a lot of people that are actually stuck in what we would call the emotional plane. Now, the secret is your heartbeat is creating a sound that's actually stimulating a specific part of your brain called your pineal gland. And that most of your experiences, of course, is going directly through this pineal gland. <clears throat> and this pineal gland, once again, like I said, kind of uh, stores information and sends it to the moon cloud. So here you go. So here's how to uh, understand the science of what they're trying to say. In ancient cultures, or in movies, I'm sorry... They often depict ghouls, goblins, ghosts, dead people at nighttime. Very seldomly do you see... Now, you see what you call poltergeist. It's a very deep thing. Poltergeist operate day or night. Poltergeist is a sun energy. It's a whole different polarity. Meaning that they are, they are consciousness that are birthed out of the sun. Or you get some things that are birthed out of the moon. That's deep. I'm not going to sit here and give you all that information. So, what they're saying is that <clears throat> these beings are then being able to be animated with the matrix of the moon, or the light of the moon, but not only being animated, because animation is also incorporated in being seen. <laughs> if you don't have no television to look at the animation, then what good is animation? You kind of need the tool to see the animation. So, in essence, what the moon does, it allows these things to be seen to be heard <laughs> that's a little deep knowledge too how I many I know that oh I wonder why ghosts come out at night well there you go who even said they're ghosts most likely they are human beings that have been killed so quickly that uh they don't even know that they're dead and uh, a majority of those are actually the indigenous people on this planet so you actually have a majority of the indigenous people are actually lost to uh, what you're called, uh, it's not, see the thing is, it ain't even the astral realm. It's the lower astral, okay, I guess it would be the, the astral realm. But it would be, uh, the astral realm has seven tiers. But uh, I guess it would be the lower astral realm. Depends on what energy they're pulling from. If they're pulling out a rage or passion, you know, they 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 pulling out of the lower astral. If they're lost in their identity... Uh, don't really know who or what they are or who or what happened to them. They're kind of pulling from their sacral chakra. If they're feeding off of individuals, Ouija boards, you know, my name is Gakum. And then, you know, you start listening to Gakum. And then before you know it, you know, Gakum is kind of incorporated with your soul. These are the areas that they pull from. They do not go to the heart. Now, they influence the heart through physical people. But these ghosts cannot touch your heart. These poltergeists cannot touch your heart. Now, poltergeists can hit your throat. They can hit your throat. They can hit your third eye. They can't touch your crown. None of y'all touching your crown. Just don't. Book a regression. Then I'll show you how to access your crown. But none of y'all touching your crown. But my point is, the only way that they really get to the heart is through people. So then this is why they start fucking with the loved ones. The husband starts getting possessed. You know, all that weird shit starts happening. They kind of, the ghost or poltergeist kind of use the living, liver, living to uh, access the heart. Liver, living. They kind of use your kids, kidney, to get to your heart. <sighs> they say, they say, Q, you not wise. No, they don't. I'm lying. <laughs> I'm lying. Fuck it with you. Wisdom is a self-taught thing. Just so you know. Knowledge ain't self-taught. You show me one motherfucker who's knowledgeable that's self-taught. I ain't never said I'm knowledgeable. 
I say I'm wise. And once again, I damn sure didn't have to send in nobody's goddamn jail to come up with this information. God damn. See, listen, I did go to jail, though. I did go to jail. Q is crazy as fuck. So when I was 18 years old, I got locked up for fighting uh, this dude at the gas station. And it wasn't like a customer. It was actually the gas station employee, you know. And uh, he kind of like jumped up on the counter swinging like this little metal rod and shit trying to like hit me. So I kind of like beat his ass and then threatened to blow up the uh, gas station. See, I don't want no secrets. You know, I don't really, I'm not into the whole secret hiding and shit. Like, y'all got to know about what y'all dealing with. I ain't like everybody else. They kind of try to keep their things a secret. For what? Fuck y'all. No offense. I'm just saying, like, why? <laughs> Fuck. So anyway, um, I beat his ass and I had a gun on me. I was 18. All right? I was getting shot at. Crazy ass shit that was happening to me at 18 years old. Damn right I had a gun on me. So I had a gun on me. So because I, like, had a gun on me and, like, beat his ass and then threatened to blow up the gas station, I got hit with, like, a terroristic threat. But everything's gone. Everything's expunged because, you know, I was, like, a good kid. It was, like, the, 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 the judge was, like, dude, like, this shouldn't even be your life. And I was, like, exactly. Like, how did this become my life? But anyway, I was in jail for, like, 27 days. I bonded out the first day. But because Atlanta's so goddamn backwards... It took them 26 days to process me. So I didn't get released until 27 days. But I've never got sentenced to jail. Because, you know, y'all can pull up shit. Look my name up. Y'all can see whatever the fuck y'all want. Y'all want to spend the $20 to, to get some shit. I'm telling y'all, that's on y'all. But I'm telling you, this is what happened in the life or in my life. So there ain't no secrets. I don't want anyone being, you know, how you going to listen to someone who got a felony? He beat the fuck out someone. Did you not think he's capable of beating the fuck out of someone? Did you not watch the 400 videos? Like, that's that's my point. Like, don't be surprised. <laughs> it happens. This 135 pounds is crazy as fuck. I be trying to... It's my dad, though. It's my dad's fault. My dad should have never brought me to the goddamn field every Sunday talking about, all right, we're about to fight. The fuck, nigga? You say hell? Trying to watch Looney Tunes, bro. Like, trying to fight your big ass. You got a pot belly and shit. You got a beard. Bald, bald head. Oh, big old bald head. My nigga, the fuck I'm going to do to your big ass? He's like, look, I ain't going to have you as no little punk out here in these streets. What the fuck? I said, all right, let's go to, let's go to the field, bro. No, no flex. Let's go to the field. My dad used to beat the fuck out of me until I got mad enough to beat the fuck out of him. I ain't going to talk about my craziness. This is my point. I want y'all to listen. This is my point. I really want y'all to really, like, pay attention to the people y'all listen to. Y'all got motherfuckers that been on this platform for seven years, eight years, ten years. Feel me? And they saying the same goddamn thing. Ain't nothing new. They regurgitating the same goddamn information. They ain't getting no new subscribers. So all motherfuckers is doing now is ciphering off another motherfucker to try to get information. Bro, we don't got... If, bro, if you want to learn from me or listen to me, call me, bro. Well, how, Kanye, how Kanye do it with Jay-Z? Call me, bro. If y'all want to learn from me, call me, bro. It's all right. We, it's $45 to $55 for a lecture, but I'll give you a discount. Call me, bro. I got you. No worries. But like I said on my YouTube channel, I already downloaded the app. I see every motherfucker who watches my videos. So there's no secrets. Do y'all not process? That's what the fuck 2025D is about. No secrets. So if you still moving around out here kind of slithering through life like a goddamn snake, well, I kind of realize what end you pulling from. You pulling from the tail of the snake. I'm kind of pulling from the head of the snake. And the head kind of eats the tail. <sighs> oh, Lord, Jesus. <laughs> I'm just trying to get home. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm just trying to get home right about now. I ain't trying to start no more shit. I don't want no smoke. I, I don't want no smoke. Y'all got it. I don't want no smoke. 
Y'all got it. Y'all, y'all did. Y'all all that. Y'all all that. I'm not even, bruh. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. I don't want to throw no stabs, so I'm trying to figure out how to say this without being specific and hurting someone's feelings. I don't give a fuck, to be honest. I really don't. But I'm trying to, like, not be the person. Listen, I'm trying to get into, like, politics. Like, you know, this is why Q never did no porno. This is why Q never did no weird shit, because I saw the future for me. I was like, look, I'm trying to get into politics. You know, I'm trying to, like, actually assist things in this world. And I can't really be having shit pulling up with a, you know what I'm saying, talking shit. But at the end of the day, if I got to change me to be in politics, I don't think I'm going to be in politics. So you know what? Fuck politics. It's going to take a whole new system for me to be in politics. Facts. Because I ain't about to just walk around like I got to stick up my motherfucking ass. That's y'all life, not mine. Not y'all. I'm just saying the politicians and all the motherfuckers. That's their life. I ain't operating like that. Motherfuckers lose their mind when they get some freedom. And that's how you get your goddamn Bill Cosby's and all this other weird ass shit in the life. As soon as motherfuckers get a little bit of freedom, they lose their goddamn mind. I ain't here for that. So I saw an interview. Actually, I didn't see it. Someone sent it to me because I don't really watch. I'll tell y'all what I watch. I watch TED Talks. I listen to uh, Bobby Hemmett every so often. That motherfucker behind me cracking up. Um, and then I listen to like people channels like aliens and shit, you know, channeling the lyrings and, you know, shit like that. That's kind of like the shit I listen to. I'm not really listening to anyone in the life right now, like, talking. I do. It's fucking to listen to somebody else for. I can't talk enough. Shit, I talk. Talk a lot. But anyway, someone sends me a video and I hear an individual basically say that he is, ha that he has, he or she, he or she has obtained millions of years of information. <clears throat> this person even said the specific amount of millions. <laughs> so this is just my point. Your brain is a sponge. Your brain is like a CPU. And it can store oh so much amount of information. And when you say that you know something, then you are applying that this is in you. This is your knowledge. This is your brain. It's not wisdom. You ain't saying wisdom. See, wisdom kind of can spark things around you where other things can store essences of you, pieces of you. Then you ain't got to be the single motherfucker to store it all in your goddamn limited brain. No, it don't got to work like that. You kind of use the life to kind of assist you in the life. But when you say you know something, you are specifically talking about your goddamn brain capacity. That is what knowledge is, how much information you are obtaining. How the fuck are you fitting millions and millions of years of information in your finite, peasy-ass fucking brain? What the fuck? We ain't goddamn giants. We ain't 10, 15 feet tall. Now listen, want me to tell you if, how I would have believed that? So we're going to go through shifts of humans, as we've done before. Had humans goddamn 50 feet tall. Got humans 2 feet tall. So you're going to go through shifts, levels of human beings. And the grander or larger the human being is, the more mass that human can obtain. Now let me ask a question. Do you think millions and millions of information, millions and millions of years of information produce a level of mass? or matter, you know, substance, substance, I would say so. I would say millions and millions of years kind of produced matter, you know, a large substance of mass. 
So how is it being stored in such a small frame? Where does that work at? Now, if that individual said that and is like 50 feet tall, fucking right. I'm be like, hell yeah, that motherfucker got millions and millions and millions of years of information knowledgeable in their body because their body is capable of restoring it, of retaining it. That's all I'm going to say. And if anyone gets offended, I don't give a fuck. Lucky I ain't drop no goddamn names. But I ain't really here for the name dropping. <clears throat> At all. Should be weird. Dude, should be weird. I ain't gonna lie. I also used to listen to a dude named Solace. But that didn't really work out too well. And, uh... I used to work at a, um, I used to work at a, uh, what was it called? Um, a college. So I used to have like a little Bluetooth and I used to just create, you know, like video series streams of different, you know, people and just listen to them. So I did used to listen to this dude named Solace and, uh, he was speaking on a lot of stuff that I was already connected to. I was already relating to in my regressions. See, the thing is, before I even came live, before I ever did one video, I was already about six months deep in doing regressions. So a lot of the things that I, I found out came from spirits, came from beings. And uh, the thing about spirits is this. Spirits is communing or communicating through a vessel, through a body. But if the body doesn't have enough knowledge or information to kind of prof profess what the spirit knows, it ain't going to be able to articulate it. So sometimes you have to go to other spirits that are more knowledgeable, that have the verbiage, that have the terminologies that could be used <laughs> or expanded on. But uh, yeah, you know, got to give credit where credit due. I most definitely listen to a dude named Silas. I haven't anymore though. Um, um, it's probably been about three months. Yeah, I think he was a little upset. He was like, you know, you stole some of my information or something like that. I'm like, dude, how do you fucking steal information? How does that work? But like I said, I ain't gonna... I ain't, that's not what this is about. This is just being a truthful video. Like things to be shown in the light. <sighs> Don't want no issues. But, uh, I'm home. So, uh, I appreciate you guys for, uh, tuning in. Till next time, beautiful people.